Hello, welcome everyone. I am very happy to meet you through Adan YouTube channel. Um, we are in a very unprecedented situation here right now. Uh, I would call it a disruption that is caused by nature. Uh, we have been, I would say, you know, it is my personal opinion that we have been abusing nature in such a way that nature probably thought it, uh, uh, that it had an opportunity to teach us a lesson. That is why you could see wildlife roaming around on the street and you could see that, you know, there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, parrots that is coming to, that is being visible and then you see a lot of animals that are there on the ground and garden and the whole world seems to be happy about it except for people who are uh, locked inside their homes. So, uh, uh, it's funny but I feel uh, nature is kind of taking its revenge on human beings for exploiting it. That uh, being said, uh, you know, this is a situation that uh, we have not faced uh, in the past 50 years, uh, especially for people who are in the IT industry. Uh, you know, I would say that 90 to 90 percent, 95 percent of the people would be uh, about 50, about 50 years. So we never would have faced the situation. The last time country faced a situation like this was probably during 1971 war with Pakistan. Even then, I don't know whether South India had uh, the kind of impact or kind of lockdown effect that it is having now. So for everybody, it is a, a unique experience. Uh, what does this unique experience tell us or how is it going to uh, impact the IT and ITS industry? So that is what I thought I will probably share some uh, my observations and my thought. Uh, see one thing that has happened here is uh, you know previously whenever uh, companies wanted to do offshore they were always thinking about uh, you know how secure will my data be, will I be able to uh, uh, protect my data and things like that and they always wanted work to be done in a very secure environment and they were not willing for the work to be done outside of the uh, premises, outside of the designated premises. Now uh, because of the disruption that has been caused because of the nature of disruption, uh, most of the customers are left with no choice and uh, the work, uh, they allowed the work to be done from home. In fact, 90 to 95 percent of whoever I spoke to, they feel they say that they, their operations have been uh, moved to remote uh, location, which is they are working from home. And uh, I also will have to say this uh, from my own personal experience that even though there are major disruptions uh, overseas in many countries, USA, Europe, uh, which is worsely affected, and Japan, India, even though is still affected by COVID, the disruption seems to be very less, especially. Uh, the disruption from the point of view of supporting our customers uh, doesn't seem to be there. 90 to 95 percent of the business is still running as usual. So it kind of enhances our credibility and our accountability and responsibility toward our customers. So this is definitely going to become a positive note once everything settles down. So that is one positive aspect. Now what is going to be the effect of COVID on other industries? See IT is more of an enabler for many industries. Unless you work for a pure IT services company, IT company, IT technology company like Google or Microsoft or Facebook or any of these companies where IT is the thing, most of the other industries, you know, uh, their core business is different. IT is an enabler to, to optimize their core business, be it an insurance company or a financial services company or a manufacturing company or an automotive company or a retail company. All these industries are hit by COVID. So definitely they are slowed down, their growth trajectory has slowed, slowed down and then their uh, pipeline, everything is slowed down by COVID. The disruption is so severe that they are all badly affected. At least for two quarters that they are definitely going to be affected. So what they are going to look at for this particular year, especially for this uh, financial year is they wanted to see how they can optimize their operations so that they can at least show a semblance of growth, how they can move quickly to the growth trajectory that they were in before this COVID set up. So one of the things that they are going to look for from IT is how can IT can help me in rationalizing my cost, operationalizing uh, my, uh, you know, my operations in such a way that I am going to become very efficient. So the first thing that is going to come is, uh, you know, if a work can be done remotely. When work can be done remotely, how does it matter if the work happens in New York or New Delhi? So, 
obviously there is an opportunity for work to be moved offshore so that is uh, the positive number one so the, there is going to be a lot of work that india can expect or indian it industry can expect the downside to it is because the work uh, because the work can be done from offshore uh, from india the opportunities for people to go abroad are people uh, or the it professionals who have who are desirous of going on a long term uh, opportunities to uh, countries are going to get reduced already there are uh, the opportunities are coming down it is going to get even more reduced so uh, you know that is going to be one challenge if you take the opportunities point of view the other thing uh, what i see is uh, you know because of the disruption most of the companies are going to look at how am i going to bring in technology how am i going to leverage technology so that i can go back to the growth trajectory soon so in from that point of view cloud already it is a it is a thing now and it is going to become more prominent and a lot of uh, work is going to move towards cloud be it private cloud or public or hybrid so there is going to be a lot of work that is going to happen in cloud the second thing that is going to happen is you know how can i automate things in such a way that i can reduce the labor so that is going to be the second focal point and the third thing is how can i bring in ai and ml so that you know i can predict things in such a way or how i can bring in more uh, i can analyze customer behavior so that i can become better in my business all these three things are already become the in thing you know if you look at the current you know hot uh, topics in it uh, cloud uh, automation and ai are the hot thing but they are going to become even more predominant so um, the new projects in traditional technologies are definitely going to reduce and uh, you know uh, people are going to look at how am i going to get more money for uh, more value for the money that they spend so it is imperative for us to use this time to upskill ourselves become better at what we are currently doing and second thing is learning new technologies see even if you are 100% contributing towards a customer project there is obviously a time savings that you don't have to uh, that you are getting by working from home especially if you are from bangalore you know you you have a lot of uh, time savings due to commute commute basically use those time you know uh, to upskill yourselves and see how you can learn new technologies and so that you know you stay relevant and you are able to meet the challenges that are thrown to you when they come your way with regards to it years uh, i still would think because of the same factor that i told about it that the disruption that has been caused uh, due to uh, operation uh, closure in the uh, in the overseas conditions is definitely going to lead to more back office operations to be pushed to india so i see a lot of opportunities coming there and again there there is definitely going to be questions asked on what are all the optimizations that you are going to give me what are all the efficiencies that you are going to uh, give me so that is where technology has to be reworked reengineered and refocused towards giving what the customer is asking for at least at this point uh, i mean customer always wants process efficiency and optimization but that focus will be even more uh, they they would be even more focused on getting more value for their Uh, money that they spend so uh, we have to be uh, up to the challenge we have to always constantly look for opportunities where we can provide more value for the services that we offer and that is the bottom line any company that is able to offer more value for the money that the customer is going to pay us that is going to survive and it could be due to uh, moving the operations it could be moving, providing better technology and solutions or it could be providing innovations it could be anything so let us be prepared for it till the time it happens let us stay safe stay indoors and let us together beat corona